Hi, I'm Mike. I'm from user.com. I'm chief of customer success in user.com. And uh, user.com is like show. Great. No. Yeah, thank you. One more time. Please give me some applause or something or else. Let's start one more time. Hi, I'm Mike from user.com and I'm chief of customer success. User.com is all-in-one marketing automation platform for online businesses like SaaS companies and e-commerce companies. Uh, we help them grow. We give them the tool which salespeople, marketing people and support people can uh, reach the right audience with the right message at the right moment. And in terms of uh, this channel of communication, we integrate in one tool, uh, live chat, chatbots, emails, call center, SMS, web push, in uh, many, many channels. And uh, on top of that, we are also a CRM. And it was 30 seconds about company, my company, so it's finished. Just a short disclaimer at the beginning. I want to provide you as much value as I can. And on a daily basis, I implement marketing automation technology, and I want to share with you how to do it. Some references to user.com will be included, but those are our competitors, and they are really great tool. And if you are really tremendous one, if you want to implement some marketing automation technology, please try them. Please uh, try different tools and choose the one which uh, will fit your needs, will fit your budget, which will fit your user experience. Uh, but getting back to my main topic, if we want to talk about marketing automation, we first have to define what is marketing automation. And I know that most of you will... Uh, connected to annoying pop-ups, never-ending follow-ups, or everything related to spam. But the goal of marketing automation is totally different. The goal of marketing automation is to reach a particular audience with the right message at the right channel and in the right moment. So it's quality not quantity, like in spam, but do it automatically. Uh, Peter Drucker once said that all companies, all organizations, have two main functions, marketing and innovation. And if we are talking about one of two most, uh, most important uh, issue, we are not only talking about marketing, but we are talking also about sales automation. Sales is crucial. It's a fuel for our business. We, are, we want to make our customer happy. We want to take care of them. So we uh, also can automate support processes. Support is rather reactive, but we want to be proactive so we can automate all education, all success processes. But marketing, sales, uh, support or success, customer care, are different departments. And in those different departments are working many employees, so there are many, a lot of them, participants who will be involved in process. And they need many resources, a lot of resources. And because many processes can be automated. And when I'm talking about processes, uh, this is a marketing stage and everybody is talking about lead generation. Yeah, it's a crucial process for marketing success. And generate leads can be done through pop-ups if you want to provide some valuable knowledge, like leave email and take this 10 uh, ways to do something. Uh, on those pop-ups, you can ask for a phone number, offering that you can call back in 30 seconds or as soon as possible. Uh, you can uh, generate leads uh, via live chat or hire or hire chatbots to that. Uh, when you've gathered leads, you try you have to nurture them. So nurturing uh, them can be done also through many com uh, ch channels of communications. Uh, 
emails are one of obvious one, but you can try web push notification. This is those annoying notification that nobody how, know how to turn it off. Uh, you can use SMS, you can use mobile push notification if you invited, uh, invested uh, previously in your mobile app. You can, if users use your mobile app, which is pretty rare, uh, you, can, you can use in-app uh, notifications. Uh, so many processes and many channels. And talking about many processes, I mean not only lead generation or lead nurturing. You can automate your sales follow-ups. You can do automated onboarding. Uh, you can score clients, so you can add or subtract uh, some points based on their activity. You can do a pre-qualification job in terms of leads, and chatbots are really great technology to do uh, with uh, this pre-qualification of uh, sales leads. You can upsell clients, you can cross-sell clients, you can do educational campaigns, you can bring, uh, do a bring-back campaign, so uh, contact automatically lost leads or contact automatically uh, customers who have churned. Uh, you can uh, ask users about something, so you can enrich this data about them. Data is new oil, so we want to know about our customers as much as possible, because we can take insights. Janina can understand uh, this data and can analyze it. Uh, but in terms of processes, we can measure satisfaction campaigns, uh, satisfaction of these users. We can use NPS surveys or customer satisfaction after uh, interacting with us. So really, really many processes can be automated. And there is one trick. If we take many processes and we will multiply that with many channels and we will multiply that with many participants in organization and when we multiply that with many departments who have different budgets, etc., etc., really, it is a lot of work. And I mean a lot. Uh, Sales people who sell marketing automation software, and I was one of them, made a very, very bad thing. They said that technology can solve everything. But it's like magic button, you push it and all your marketing or sales process are erased. Even if they don't say that it's a magic button, uh, they are showing you really, really useful uh, graphic interface where you can plan all those scenarios. For example, if user will scroll down to the half of your blog post, this will fire an event. Then you're checking if you know his... Uh, if, do you have some contact information to this cookie or not? Uh, if you don't know who uh, he is, you can show him this pop-up. Uh, if he fill in this pop-up, you are sending him an ebook. If uh, he didn't... You, but you can wait a couple of seconds and then you can check if he had submitted this pop-up or not and reach out to him via the different channel, like live chat communication, like, hey, I see you're looking this article, maybe you have some questions, I'm happy to answer them. But you can reach to him only on Monday to Friday, uh, 9 to 5, and uh, in other uh, hours you can... Uh, reach out to him via chatbot. And chatbot can do pre-qualification jobs, so, so he can gather information about what kind of product uh, he is interested in, uh, how big is uh, his company, uh, do he have a budget, uh, are he using currently some different technology. So chatbots are really great in terms of gathering information about users, uh, but if user will answer all those questions to, uh, to, to the chatbot, you can automatically create a deal in your pipeline. You can create activity. You can notify agent with this information that, hey, some, this guy has talked with chatbot and he's a potential lead, so reach out to him. First contact of sales guy can be also automated, like, hi, thank you for, uh, hi, my name is Mike, I saw you've talked with our chatbot, I will uh, take uh, some, uh, find some information about your company and I will call you tomorrow. Yes, so everything can be automated. How simple it is. But simple doesn't equal easy. 
but there is one mm, way to make it not so hard. It's, uh, it's a plan. You have to plan what you want to implement, what processes you want to implement. And I will show you some plan of uh, how to do it. First step, it's uh, technical implementation. And I know that we are a business, guys. We uh, don't start with these technical issues, rather we define business goals. First three points should be done at the same time, but uh, starting with technical imp uh, implementation uh, give you one quick win. This is the moment when the truth comes out. So we will know what kind of data resources about current clients we will be able to um, access, how we will do it. So going into details what kind of assets we currently have is really, really useful. But the most important uh, issue is defining goals and the scope of marketing automation implementation. Because uh, with there is a trick with defining goals. This is the moment when we define what processes we want to uh, automate, what goals we should uh, achieve. But as a marketers, we are greed. Well, when sales guy show us that you can do this, you can do this, you can do this, I want it, I want it, I want to do NPS, I do want to do upsell, I want to do cross-sell, I want to do everything. I want it, I want it all, I want it all, and I want it now. It's not the best solution, not the best way how to improve it, uh, implement. Uh, there is such saying that if you want to eat an elephant, Elephant is too big to eat it uh, at one time. So you cut it into a half and think, is a half of elephant big enough to eat it? It's not. So you divide it into another part and divide it into another part and divide it into another part, and you have some chunk which is eatable. And the, the same uh, approach should be used in marketing automation implementation. When we know the scope, when we know how Elephant Big is, we have to define user stories. And user stories uh, is like script to whom, when, and with what we want to reach out. It's like writing a script for a movie. If you want to make a good movie, uh, I'm pretty sure that all of us have taken some camera on vacation and tried to do an interesting film without any script. So random shots, very, very boring. It's not uh, useful. And implementing uh, marketing automation without user stories, so to whom and what we want to uh, reach out, uh, it's not a good way. When we will write down the script, we, in film industry, we have to set up all uh, characters. We have to hire, hire actors or props we will need. We will decide what plans uh, we will use. So in terms of marketing automation technology, is like defining data structure, uh, what kind of events we will need, what kind of uh, custom attributes we will store on users, what kind of customers, uh, what kind of data we will store on companies' attributes. Uh, so those are all assets, what kind of emails we have to to write down. When we know all of that, then this is the place where we can throw those blocks in this drag and drop uh, builder. Uh, it's like taking a shot uh, during making a movie. It's really important one, but as you know, movie is not my, uh, good movies are not made by grabbing camera and trying to do something. So please prepare uh, yourself to do it. Uh, but it, 
taking a shot, it's not uh, the end of the process. We have to measure our um, marketing automations. We have to optimize it. It's like post-production, it's editing. Sometimes some shots have to be taken one time uh, ag again. So it's not end of uh, the work. Some useful tips and tricks I've gathered uh, with implementing marketing uh, automation technology through uh, last three years. Uh, start small. Start with uh, really most simple automation, not such as i shown you before. Really, entering your website, showing pop-up. And you will see it is working. Uh, secure the resources. If you want secure people and time, you will have to secure money to <laughs> and outsource it, but secure the resources to implement uh, those processes. Don't get overhyped with technology. We are marketers. We all love this glittering AI, omni-channel, real-time bidding, everything at all. Technology is cool, but... Uh, Technology won't do our work, so we have to think what we want to achieve with this technology. And one uh, most important issue is uh, beware that it will be an ongoing process. You won't finish it in a one second. So, because if you want to do a masterpiece. It won't be a one shot. It won't be a one episode. It event won't be a one um, series, uh, one season. It have to be a series of great communications with customers. And if you are thinking about uh, marketing automation uh, implementation, we can talk about those stories data structure, no matter what kind of technology you will use. So, thank you. Thank you, Mike.